Today we're at Sydney Olympic Park in the Brick Pit, and this is home to the Green and Golden Bell Frog. And we're starting stage one of a very exciting experiment. We're aiming to trial immunizations for chytrid. And in stage one, we took adult frogs from the Brick Pit, we cured them of their chytrid infections, and we brought them to Macquarie University where they have bred. And now we have thousands of their babies. Since their job is done, we've brought them back here, fat and healthy, where they can go back to their homes. And up next, we'll be raising their tadpoles to young frogs and we'll be immunizing them against chytrid. And the hope is that we can get them back on the landscape in large numbers, not just in the brick pit, but in the greater wetland system. This project is huge and it involves partnerships with Sydney Olympic Park and the New South Wales Department of Climate Change, Energy, the Environment and Water, who both break the mold for how conservation research can be done through legislation. We're not just ticking a box. We're fulfilling the spirit of this legislation to make sure that there are large, healthy populations of green and golden bell frogs. Now, while we're quite busy doing our conservation work here, springtime is a great time for community scientists to get involved too. You could do that by getting involved with Frog ID Week. You can contribute vital conservation information by downloading the Frog ID app, which is free, and recording frog calls in your area. Now, experts will listen to those calls and they'll tell you what frog species are around. This provides vital information for conservationists such as myself to do our research. Thank you so much.